Hello guys and welcome back, welcome back of course, welcome back to a new trailer. Uh, oh, I said that wrong, the intro went wrong, oh my god. Welcome back to a new job, and therefore a new trailer. <laughs> it's Monday, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, you know, the last job we started at 7 in the evening, so it's going better. Um, I slept, so I can go for 14 hours. Uh, the trail is just 6 kilometers out, we have to go to the right. Remind me of that, right? <laughs> because I don't see the navigation now. Uh, I, I rested here. Funny thing, with my Peterbilt at Kenworth. <laughs> I love that. It's funny. We're gonna start this job with 3% damage. It's crazy. And a uh, fuel. I'm not sure I'm gonna make that, but you know, we have to try. Uh, right. up the trailer of course and we're gonna have tall soldiers baby m m people oh a crane and a pickup that's cool never saw that before all right man I'm here in my uh, metallic hawk skin color well paint job it's not skin of course it's a paint job and I'm loving it uh, like I said uh, a while back when I have the racer skin, uh, I, I said I would uh, take a green truck, especially for that trailer, so here I am. Now I just <laughs> need to find uh, the trailer, I have to get lucky. But uh, it's gonna happen, you know, the game cannot deny me that racer trailer in 10 jobs, come on, in 10 jobs it, it has to happen. What are you gonna do, man? Huh? What are you gonna do? You really think I'm gonna let you go? <laughs> no, 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 Kappa. Not after all those crazy tickets you give me. Alright, so here we are. Uh, a little bit further. We're gonna pick up where we delivered uh, the cars. We're gonna pick up uh, the next job. There it is. And this one is for farming, so I guess we're gonna take it to Busno Farm. So. Oh, hello trailers. Alright, let's get in there. Steer in right about now. A little bit late. But uh, the game uh, helps me out a little bit, so I need to go to the left. Uh, that could be a problem. I go all here. Let's see what we have here. Oh! It's the big sack. I think it's a baler. This one makes uh, hay bales or straw bales. Cool, it's a uh, double axed. One uh, beacon double wheel. It's tied up with lines. One, two. Okay, so that's secure. Um, you know, it's a green machine. It's a green truck. Only the tr I don't know. The red and green looks not too bad. I like it. It's not, not that bad. Let's take a look at the papers. We have the Chrome Big Pack. Wow. 1290XC HDP 60 tons. We're going to Santa Cruz HMS Machinery. Wants it. I'm gonna get paid 18,200 euros for a trip of yikes 900. Hey, dude, I wanted that trailer. Hey, god damn it. Um, 924 kilometers. And we're gonna go to the left. I need both lanes for this uh, turn, I think so. Wait. Wait. This is gonna take a while, I guess. Let's get a little bit more to the front. And the mirror is in the way now. Damn! It's really busy. 
go. Alright, don't hit that fence. Don't hit that fence. Don't hit that pole. It's gonna be A okay. And the Hulk is on a mission for the Avengers. <laughs> do, do, do. I love this metallic paint job. It is crazy good, man. So we're gonna leave Elko. Uh, one of the cities where I have my company. Uh, not my headquarters. My headquarters is in San Francisco. That's where I started. And uh, yeah, you know, that's the base. Oh, really? You're gonna play me in like this game? So this is quite the long trip of course for the first time in, well I don't know, 10, 18 jobs. I'm gonna go over 900 kilometers again, so let's see how it goes. Oh, that's the fuel tank. Look at this point as well. Nice. Quite heavy here, if you have to believe it. If that's uh, 16,000 kilos, weird, but okay. So we have to go uh, out of the city onto the highway and lucky enough we can go 129 kilometers an hour and 105 so you know we're gonna make some speed on this trip. Go 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 green 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 uh, ah yeah, yeah 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 yes 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 he's not gonna go I'm gonna go that's right you have to be a little bit a little bit speedy here man come on be sharp, be sharp. That's not speed. Not even one kilometer man. Alright, here we are. Just to be I know there's nothing coming, but you know, just for safety. Gotta take a little looky. Drama. 
you know, there's a lot of drama um, on uh, on internet and on YouTube, and you know, he did not say it directly, but he was aiming at drama alert. Uh, Pewdie PewDiePie thinks it's wrong to make views and have money if you make videos over other people, you know. So he's saying like, you know, stop it and be normal, man. And then KSI replied, dude. Um, if you don't do anything wrong, you're not gonna be in drama alert. If you just act normal, he's not gonna talk about you. So, and that's right, you know, if you just stay quiet, uh, don't look for a fight, you know, don't make stupid comments, uh, they're not gonna talk about you. So that was a little bit uh, hypocrite. And then, uh, two days ago, I think, you know, uh, PewDiePie put up a video uh, oh, I bought a new car, and then he put a picture up from a Ferrari, so I'm like, what? You know, and I know all YouTubers do it, right? Uh, they show off the Lamborghinis, the Audis R8, the Ferraris, uh, the Nissans GTRs, and I know, it's, it's, it's funny. Uh, some say it's a little bit ridiculous, why do they do that? But I can understand it, man. If you can buy a Lamborghini, you want to show it off, man. Uh, you want to show it off to your to your friends, but if you have like four million followers, you know, or five hundred thousand, you want to show it to them, man. And of course for the views, but still, I would, you know, if I could buy uh, from my YouTube money. Well, I'm not making any money now, but you know, if that was the case in a perfect world, <laughs> and I am. Uh, I make videos for you two years and I have enough money to pay, buy a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. I would also, why not man? And sh of course you're gonna make a video about it. You know, guys, this is my new car. And uh, I saw that thumbnail of PewDiePie and I'm like, oh, you know, he, he, he bought a Ferrari. Uh, he's gonna do the same thing, you know, he's gonna make a video about it and he, he wants views. And he's gonna, you know, just like all the other YouTubers. So he's not different, you know. So the video starts and okay, so I bought a new car, and uh, then he goes like, all right, let's go outside. And he goes outside, and it's a very old Nissan, you know. It's it's green, it's rusty, it doesn't have rims, and he's like, oh. So you know, I was laughing because I I right away I totally understand whoa what he was going for, you know. Well, that was not good, and. Um, I liked it, you know, it was a little bit over the top, of course, he was dressed in the silly clothes and he jumped on the hood and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, it's funny, I mean, I'm sure, you know, he, he makes the most money of all of them, I mean, you have people with 4 million uh, followers and they're doing good, but he has 44 million, a whole country is following him, you know, uh, and it's crazy, you know, so if guys with 4 million followers can buy a Lamborghini, <laughs> and PewDiePie has been doing this for 5 years already, so if he wants, he can buy whatever he wants, I'm sure he can buy the newest Bugatti, you know, but no, he decides to fool everybody and, get, and make a video about an old Nissan, um, I thought it was funny. You know, some people say, uh, you know, if you don't want drama, don't make videos about other people, you know, don't, uh, don't throw anybody, uh, don't go asking for it, you know, because he was tweeting and uh, he put something in the video uh, about KSI, you know, so they say, don't do that then, just make the video and don't say anything about drama because you're creating drama now. And of course that's a little bit right. And then on Twitter there was a little bit of a fight between KSI and PewDiePie, you know. KSI tweeted out, uh, you know, I'm waiting for you, come on, you know, it's your turn now and stuff like that. And then of course we have King Alert in, in Holland, who is uh, the same as Drama Alert in America. And he, uh, he talked about it of course and he said, I don't know if it's fake or if it's real. Uh, maybe they both want viewers and they, you know, they act like they are fighting, but they're not. And uh, yeah, you don't know, of course. It could be fake, 
that uh, they're both trying to boost, uh, you know, some viewers. And uh, they do this. I don't think they need it. I mean, KSI has 4 million followers. Uh, he does FIFA and uh, other games and PewDiePie. Yeah, he can do what he wants. It doesn't matter. And he still gets 2.8 million views of video. I mean, it's crazy. He does crazy videos. Sorry that I say, but uh, I, I'm following him for about two years now already. And it's going downhill. I need to say it, it's going downhill. Uh, he used to play games and uh, comment on them. And it, it, that was funny. And now he just does weird things. He put this uh, weird suit on and just goes crazy. Says some weird things. And that's it. That's the video. And he gets 2 3 million views. And I'm like, what? He, he does not play games anymore even. You know, sometimes it's just... Out of seven videos in a week, you know, he uh, he plays two video, two games, and the rest is just weird stuff, you know. But you know, people love it, and uh, yeah, why not? And of course, there was a little discussion about the videos with the cars. Um, some people say, why do, why do that, you know, why show off that you are rich, um, you know, you're not really working, uh, don't do it, you know. At one point, I can understand that because, you know, uh, you buy a Lamborghini, you make a video uh, of it, and you say thanks, of course, to your subscribers, but you did not really earn it, you know, it, it's their money. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird, you know, it's weird. At, like I said, at one, I understand they make the video because they want to show off the car. Uh, come on, let's be fair here. Everybody would do it. But at the other time, of course, you are... Yeah. Your viewers paid for the car, to be fair, you know. And I know, I know, it's, it's a hard life to be a YouTuber. Where you know, oh my god, you have to record videos, man. You have to edit videos and you have to upload them. Oh my god, it's so difficult. I'm sure we are all YouTubers are tired. Come on, man. Don't fuck me up. That's crazy. It's a, it's a hobby, man. You love it. You love to, to gain. So, don't say it's a job because it's not, you know. Um, I don't want to take any, anything away from them, but uh, here in Holland, you had uh, the Dutch YouTube gathering. Uh, that's where all the Dutch YouTubers go, and people can meet them, fans can talk to them, and stuff like that. And I saw three videos of three different YouTubers saying that, oh my god, man, I was there uh, three days, eight hours long, talking to people, doing this. I was so tired, man. I, I was broke. <laughs> And then I'm going like, dude, I don't know, but I work eight hours a day, five days long, and I lived in a day more than 2,000 kilos. What the hell are you saying that you are tired? Come on, man, let's be fair here. But, you know, they, they were tired. And at one point they said, you know what, I'm gonna go home, screw all the fans uh, that have been waiting for nine hours, I'm sorry. I wanna eat, I wanna shower. Yeah. You know, and that, I, I don't understand, you know, uh, at one point, one, one, uh, King Alert was right, he said, um, it's not really a job, it's not physical, very difficult, but mentally, you know, we YouTubers are, you know, um, we are challenged, and it, it's, we are tired mentally, because, you know, you have to think about your... Uh, your followers, uh, people who are gonna leave hate comments, uh, you need to upload videos every day, you have to edit them, you have to think about what you want to upload and stuff like that, and I get that, you know, I get that, if you have like 100,000 to 1 million followers, it is a big deal, and you feel maybe a little bit pressure, income, 4,900, uh, yeah, I think you will, but that's just who you are, you know, I mean, it's, it's up to you to get pressured. For me, I would not feel any pressure. I would laugh all day long. I'm sorry, but that's just, you know, 
that's what I would do. Uh, let's say uh, I, got, I got booming. Suddenly, in uh, the next three, four months, I get one million f followers. And uh, I make games, of course. And, you know, I find, I find that game that is, is booming. You know, it's trending. And uh, the guys love it, and I do a career out of it, and everybody goes crazy about it, saying like, "Oh yeah, man, go on with this." And I'm, I'm not gonna pressure. I'm gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is, you know, I'm gonna one day I'm gonna record 10, 20 videos. The next day I'm gonna edit them all, and then I'm gonna put three videos up every day. If I make 20 videos, I can go all week, man. What do you mean pressure? You know, I'll, I'll take three days off, just upload, pop pop, and then go shopping and stuff like that, you know. And then, when I, you know, when I reach the last day, I upload three videos and then I record again. All day, all night long. I don't care. You know, what, who, 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 how do you mean pressure? I mean, but, you know, they say uh, they feel pressure. Well, okay. I know. I said it many times, but I still think there's no need for YouTubers to say that it's hard work, they feel pressure, they are mentally, you know, feeling it, don't really get it, because they don't have a boss, you know, they're their own boss, um, if one day they don't feel like, you know, making a video or recording it or editing it in it, you don't, you don't do it, you know. People are not going to get angry, and if they are, you know, it's up to you if you uh, agree to it, you know, if you're like, oh my god, they're right, I need to record again, or, or if you go like, oh, I got some uh, bad comments, well, you know, fuck them, whatever, I'm going to upload tomorrow again, you're your own boss, but you know, that's, uh, these days, you know, you don't know if, uh, if two uh, YouTubers on Twitter go at each other, we don't know if it's real or that they just want to push their own channels, you know, with KSI and PewDiePie. I don't know why, because they both have over 4 million subscribers. Why do you do that, you know? Why do you fake a, a fight that you don't like each other and you make videos about each other? Why? I mean, you don't need it. Just do what you do. Although I must say, I think PSI, I'm not sure if it's him, but I saw some YouTubers, you know, oh, Strip FIFA. And I'm like, what? Okay, Strip FIFA? I, I, I want to watch this. And then the guy is playing FIFA, and his girlfriend, you know, when he loses or something like that, she has to strip, or when his opponent scores, she has to take off uh, a clothing. And I'm like, what? You know. Okay, I thought like, oh, you know, it's a sexy girl, I'm gonna watch it. But of course, nudity is uh, forbidden on YouTube, so you will never see anything. So I don't know. Oh, here we go. Income, 7,900. Miller, Miller, that's a better girl. That's the average I want to see from you. Great job. So I watched the video, and of course, at the end, she cannot show her boobs or even more. So she's just in her bra, and the, and the video ends, and I'm like, Okay, well, I just got tricked, you know, that's what it is, it says, oh, income, 12,300, Sophie, well, Miller, I'm sorry, but she just, wow, so we got like 23,000, this is now a 40,000 euro job, ka-ching, and I'm not home yet, haha, <laughs> 40,000, nice, so, you know, I'm like, wow, and, and that video got viewed, like, 400,000 times and I'm like okay but you don't even see any boobs or whatever she stays in her bra you know so it's really funny you know and he does that time after time after time and people keep watching <laughs> I, I watched one time and then I was like okay you know strip FIFA oh, no she's not gonna show anything to it so why do it you know why would you do that why would you make a thumbnail like that you know it's it's, it's not good it's clickbait i just learned that by the way you know i'm 
month, a couple of months ago. Clickbait. <laughs> it was so funny. One YouTuber uh, went a little bit crazy at uh, at everybody because, uh, well, you know, he was uh, his channel was in a little bit of a dip. It was going down with views and stuff like that. And of course, he did not want that. And he see uh, he see other YouTubers putting up thumbnails of boobs, of course, you know, big girls, and uh, putting in uh, something in the title, and then the video goes about something else, you know. So he thought he thought, you know what? I'm gonna try that. Let's see what happens. And he's about anime. He's about um, Dragon Ball Z and Super. So he put uh, robots 19, 18, you know, the girl robot with big boobs, looking sexy as a thumbnail. And he put something sexy in the title, and that video went booming. But the video was not about that, you know. It was not about boobs. It was about something normal. So people were angry and they were disliking the video. So he went a little bit crazy. So in the next video, he was going off about clickbait. You know, he said, "What the fuck are you telling me? You know, I'm not clickbaiting." And well, he was, of course, but. He's like, you know, this is the first time I do it. Oh, let me go. Dude, he hit me. No damage, that's awesome. You know, he's going like, everybody that does YouTube is clickbait because we all put something, blah, 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 this. You know, we're gonna put sexy things in the thumbnails. We're just leading everybody and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay. Well, not everybody does it, right? We have some YouTubers that are fair. Uh, many YouTubers, of course, do it. You know, uh, they put something sexy in a thumbnail, and it's not really that in the game or in the in the vlog even. You know, but you cannot. Oh shit! I'm not gonna make this. Am I? No.
Sorry guys, I uh, the doorbell was ringing, so I needed, of course, to answer. Now the problem is, I went the wrong way, of course. I need to turn around. Hopefully no damage. Nope. Oh, 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 I went the wrong way. That's uh, running out of fuel. Income 6,000. 6. 6,200 <laughs> 6, Stella. Wow, I'm running out of fuel and I need to sleep. Really? And why is it sending me back? What? Oh. What? Okay, um, well I only have 100 kilometers to go, so I should make it in fuel. I need to sleep in... Whoa, I'm already late! Ay ay ay! I know I'm tired, dude. Wow, okay. There should be a rest place here, fuel-wise. Oh, oh. It's... scary. Carry a few, I'm afraid. It's gonna be real close. So, you know, we have to go a little bit faster. <laughs> ah, there we can rest. That's already real good. Really happy with that. So, that's one red blinker off my dashboard in my truck. That's always a good thing. Sleep and now fuel station is 
six kilometers. No, I'm, I'm, I am going to sleep first. Just to be safe. Hello? Alright, so, sleepy sleepy, see you guys in the morning. Oh, in the afternoon, sorry, in the afternoon, of course. Same day. Woo! Alright, let's get on the road again. 50 kilometers to go. I should make that with a few I have, should not be a problem. It's gonna be close, but still. Income 8400 Miller. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Nice. driver bringing in 6700 just 33 kilometers come on fuel oh yes do that it's cool no damage I guess ah. okay 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 slow, slow down slow down dude almost home That's right, slow down. And there we go, just 10 kilometers. And then I don't see any fuel station close by, so I'm afraid uh, I'm in trouble. Wow. Well, the important thing is I have enough fuel to park this trailer. Then, uh, yeah, we'll see. Jesus Christ! Wow! <sighs> Scared the shit out of me, dude. I just looked left and there was nothing, so I'm like, yeah, okay. And then, poof. Oh, you want it there? Okay, no problem. I can do that. Should be easy enough, right? with it. Great job! 955 kilometers, damn! Yeah, that's uh, quite a trip. Well, sleep uh, time, that's cool. Now I need fuel. It says I still have enough fuel for 500 kilometers. That's so weird. I don't have that. So, that's not true. We finished this job with just 4% and that's really weird. I, I now went 1700 kilometers and I just got 1% damage. That's crazy. You know, I'm gonna take it, but I don't know what kind of tires I have, but wow. Well guys, um, I'm gonna fuel up. Probably I'm not gonna make it because I did not see anything close, but we'll see what happens. Uh, remember guys, Burn Barber, not your souls. I will see you for the next job of course. Stay tuned.